Hello and welcome back to Lorefent Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights Shadows of Iron Time Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Lorefent. In today's Neverwinter Nights Shadows of Iron Time Enhanced Edition video, we're going to go ahead and finish these ruins off and also the interlude chapter. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter videos like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated and much, much more. Now, in the last video, I explored the ruins. Now, I'm going to go inside this hole so I can finish it up. And we'll go ahead and meet some ant people. So let's dive on uh, down. Now let's see what's down here. Okay, look like ant people. Oh, that's liable to leave a scar. Bad news is these ant people cannot be sneak attack. Great news is they do not have true sing, so I can pop in and out of stealth just to make sure I throw off aggro off me. Yeah, I'm using Deacon as a tank because this guy, yeah, he has light armor and I don't want to tank at all. Besides, I'm a rogue. Now if it was my red dragon disciple, bard, and fighter, oh yeah, I'm going to be uh, definitely going to attempt to tank this up. But still, this is not bad at all. You're going to get messages throughout the lair by the queen. Yeah, the queen will uh, talk to you. Also, Deacon will talk to you for a little bit like that. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and clear out the workers. Great news is I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, I am I crate from the last video, which gives me haste. Also, it does AoE damage around the foes. <laughs> Now, that wasn't uh, bad at all because I used the hasting AoE and uh, more. I'm still going to use it for partly through this uh, layer as long as I uh, don't have haste. I have haste. I'm not going to use it. Now, these uh, what you call workers, yeah, they're immune to sneak attacks. However, they are much, much weaker. Usually one hit, they uh, die sometimes too, which is uh, good. I advise looting everything up because uh, I'm going to be honest here for a moment. Once you meet the queen, this is a one-way uh, trip. I'll remind everybody of that again. Still, just loot everything up. Besides, you're going to get some nice uh, gems out of this. This is like Gem Haven. I am really serious. So, what we'll do is just uh, keep on going. I want to say this right now. This uh, layer was actually uh, really fun to do. And if I remember right, it's also optional. So, you don't have to do it at all. So, I'm going to go over here. I see some more workers. I'm going to go ahead and take them all out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to say this is like one of my favorite parts of the excavated ruins is going down the ant people layer, kill them, and take their gems. Now, my aspiring black guard, he killed them all. I'll explain a little bit more on that when this happens. So for now, we're going to go over here, just loot everything up in sight. There'll be some more uh, ant people. I should say resistance, but it's not much resistance. Oh, that's liable to leave a scar. Hit you. 
Yeah, I love that power stone. It is so OP'd. I am glad I made it. It's also uh, make me go through this uh, layer a lot quicker too. Yeah, see the uh, queen's talking through my head, saying, "Yeah, come on, don't go, don't invade the layer." And she's like, she's not very happy. But oh well, her people's attacking me first. I mean, that's the uh, thing. But still, I'm going to go through it though, especially for this uh, walkthrough video. Oh look, there's more of them. Now, uh, let me uh, see here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab that, too. That looks very good. Let's grab some uh, rubble. There you go. Let's go look around some more. I'm going to have to murder some more ant people. They do drop some gems sometimes. Yeah, I want more uh, gems, so let's see. Okay, that's an all right one. That's nice for uh, starting out. So, okay, there's some more, uh, what do you call it, workers. Let's go ahead and uh, abuse our power stone like now. Now, I see some more uh, dead bodies. Ah, Jarrett, they didn't have nothing in the rocks. Let's see what else is there. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh some more uh, gems. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, so you uh, definitely want to just uh, keep on uh, fighting until uh, something happens. Still, you can make a lot of money in this uh, area. I like it though, I mean, it's really uh, good. I mean, back in the day, it was uh, great too. With my aspiring black guard, I loot everything like I'm doing right now. Games like this, I kind of wish there was uh, zones like this. This way you kill enemies, just loot up the uh, environment, and get something really worthwhile. Look like I see something over there. I'll grab that too, so let's uh, move on forward. Or I should say north on the uh, map. There's three more spots. Okay, I see some more uh, workers. Let's see what else is there. Poss I don't know. Yeah, I think they're uh, workers. I might be uh, wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all out ASAP. Now, uh, let me uh, look around. Okay, besides the dead bodies, we'll uh, grab more uh, gems. This is uh, really worth it. Let's see, we'll grab that uh, too. All right, I'm getting a lot of gems. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of money. That's all I'm gonna say. So let me uh, go over here, that looks fine. Let's uh, check this way. Ah, that is uh, good, we'll grab that too. We'll grab this uh, definitely. Uh, those are the generic plus one arrows, so if you're like an archer, yeah, well, guess what? You'll all uh, love them, so let's uh, grab that, too. I already grabbed that, I think. Yeah, I just forgot. When we go in the next room, look like there are more foes to uh, definitely clear on out. Ha! A most helpable touch! Ha! 
Now, let me uh, check this out. All right, there's a spell. Now, if I was a caster, oh yeah, that would have been really nice. Let's check this. All right, some more uh, gems. I'm rolling in it. Only thing I wish was uh, diamonds and uh, rubies, but oh well. I'm happy with it. I mean, it's the uh, good stuff. The little things usually uh, pile up. I say good little things. Oh, wait, there's a straggler. Screw, uh, you know, uh, not talking through this one. This one's just going to be a one hit. And okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. Two hits. And there you go. Good job, Deacon. You're very helpful for this video today. You're one of the best companions in this expansion. Yeah, you're awesome. That's why they name a street after you in Neverwinter. So, we're going to just keep on going in this direction, which is uh, more like, I think, east, northeast. So, we'll go this way. Look like the tougher ones. I'm going to have to uh, take them out. I'll return when they're all definitely gone. Well, looks like they have been defeated, so... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Join us, stranger. The hive will no longer harm you. Come and speak with us. Yep, yep, that's the message. This is the uh, message I definitely wanted. So when you see that message, they will all turn friendly. Now, you have a choice of keeping it that way. Now, here's the uh, thing. My uh, expiring uh, black guard at the time, when he got to the queen... Yeah, choice to either fight her or not fight her. Well, my aspiring black guard definitely fought her. Now, uh, back on point for uh, some more exploring. You can loot everything up, no penalties. Now, since I am playing a good guy, I am not going to murder the queen. Instead, she wants to parlay with us. I'm going to honor it. And she'll give you a very important item that will help you out in the uh, next encounter when you go topside. Or actually back to the first floor of the ruins. But still, you all uh, get the uh, point. I will admit though, this is a great area part of the uh, ruins. I love this part. I'm going to say it's really good. Plus, you can make a lot of money from those gems. Stacks of gems will help you definitely make that uh, cash. So let's go over this direction. Alright. Nothing else there. At this point, I'm just looting on my way to the queen. And, of course, they're all friendly. You could talk to them all, which is uh, neat, too. They'll say the same matches, but still, it's a good thing after you, uh, what, clear out half the lair. Queen realized, yeah, this uh, guy or gal means serious uh, business. Well, I'm playing a dude, but still, those who are playing female characters, yeah, well, I'll have to add that, too. So, I'm going to go over in this general direction, and there is right there. The uh, map marker points to the uh, queen. If you want to, I advise making a save, because if you face the queen, you'll have to face everybody else on the way out. Yeah, seriously, you have to, so. What I'm going to do is, besides getting away from those guys, look very challenging, I'm going to go ahead and speak with the queen, hear her out, and accept her offer, and get a nice item out of it. <laughs>
Now, uh, let me uh, tell you all what happened. Now, you saw the orb there. Well, we used that outside this uh, layer. We get help. You heard me right. It'll be like a summon character. So, in other words, you won't, will get not much experience because you have a summon person. You share it, I think it is, or something like that. Still, it is great to have. It is really useful. I used it for the rest of the chapter. I'll leave it at that. Now, uh, next part will not be easy at all. It'll be much more uh, difficult. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain uh, what will uh, happen. Uh, the, remember the room that I left purposely uh, unexplored from the last video? Well, we're going to go into uh, that room. A whole bunch of slads are there. Not just the red ones. It'll be a gray one. Gray one hits like a Mack truck. Thus, if you summon the uh, amp uh, people, the one you're going to get is that one, uh, what do you call it? You saw that was like orange hued. Yeah, the more difficult one. Yeah, well, it'll actually join you one, of you, one of them to help you out big time. And it'll make the battle much, much easier. Other than that, your, uh, what do you call it, henchman might fall down once or twice. Deacon 3, probably. Still, it is a very good option to uh, have. Now, if you're more of a fighter type, you can forego using the orb thing and then uh, just save that for uh, a further part of this uh, campaign. Still, it is great to have. I'm a little bit of a squishy, so... Yeah, I'll uh, definitely have that there ready to uh, go. Now, here's some advice. I'm going to say this again. Loot everything before you go. Once you go topside, you cannot come back at all. Her people will definitely seal the tunnel. My main reason for, of coming here, well, besides the gems, was get that orb. It'll help me out big time. Okay, let me go ahead and grab that. We're uh, almost out of here. I'm going to miss this place. I made a whole bunch of money in this uh, place. I want to actually do find a vendor. Let's see what's in here. All right, nothing there. Still... Those gems are really worth it. Plus, I got a few free potions so I can save some extra cash, too. Like I said before, uh, Shadows of Undentine, it is harder to make money than the original campaign. Because the original campaign, you sometimes get random magical items and chests. Pull one out. It's useless. You could uh, definitely sell it. So, as soon as I uh, get the top side, I'll uh, do a quick review of uh, how uh, this battle will go on once again. And I'll uh, say this right now. Make a save. Yeah, I'll probably say that once uh, again when I get to top side. I'm going to miss this area. I'm going to have to say goodbye to it. Thank you, uh, Gem Farm. You all been really friendly. So long. Goodbye. Thanks for everything. Now, this spot is the nice spot to save. And you saw the uh, tunnel closed up. We cannot get to it. That's some wonderful scripting anyways. So, quick deal on how this goes. You want to do is take out the reds. Then take out the uh, gray after you uh, taken them out. That's it. So I'm going to go in there. Let everything happen with my new uh, summon. I'll return when it's over.
well, those are uh, creatures of uh, chaos or from the chaotic realms. It got they got the fear. The uh, gray one was the toughest ones. The other one was not so bad. And yes, I was using the old uh, dart in and dart out. I won't be able to uh, do it when I uh, get foes uh, later on this uh, campaign with true seeing. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. So our next part is we have to uh, go after the hooded lady and figure out how to get the uh, portal open. Good news is we will have some assistance on this. Now here how this does uh, go, you have to do is activate the uh, portal in certain orders. You have to go in certain rooms for that. I'll uh, put timestamps in the video. Once you do that, Master Drogon will uh, hold it open for you. And uh, once that's done, all you will be able to go through, including Master Drogon. So this is the first one you want to get to, so I'll point that out. I have my uh, notes here from my uh, test run on my uh, Potato uh, PC that was playing the original edition. Yeah, the original uh, Shadows of Undertine. And yeah, my notes say you got to go through uh, that one first. I point it. So I'm going to go ahead and point to the uh, next one. Some of this will be uh, back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. Some of the uh, games from the older days did this to you a lot. Even some of the uh, good modern ones today. Like Divinity Original Sin uh, 2 does that. So uh, keep that in uh, mind. 
Now, good news is that was number two. Now, this is number three close by. And, well, uh, guess what? You have to go back and forth from one side to the other. So, that is three on the uh, list. And uh, every time, if I think I remember right, you get in the correct order, it'll light up. Wrong order, I think they either shut down or they don't light up at all. So, we got half of them already. So, that's three down, three to go, and then all four of us could go through. Yeah, I'm counting the uh, ant person with us, too. Larry's part of our uh, team. And Larry helped us out big time. And Larry got full health. This is really good. So uh, this is uh, number four. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, grab this one. Hit the switch. And there you go. Now we have to do is go back again. <laughs> yep. This is one of those back and forths. Great news is you know you're making wonderful uh, progress. Besides, I'm just looking at this right now. Uh, Master Droken's trying to do his actually uh, keep things uh, running casting spells like crazy uh, fun fact I think spellcraft will actually identify those spells that he's casting so if you're high in that uh, skill you're gonna love it so I'm gonna go over here heal up yeah and I'm gonna get number uh, five this is the fifth one hit the uh, button and there'll be one more uh, left to uh, do actually so we're gonna go right over here and this one should be it and the portal should be open all fours goes after the hooded lady. We kick her butt and we go back to the academy to celebrate. You heard me right. We're all going to be like very happy and partying. So this will be the uh, sixth and final one. I'm going to go to uh, this room right here. Yep, this is it. And uh, that's what my uh, notes say. And there you go. And we got the 500 experience points. So a lot of things are going to be happening with this uh, portal. So as soon as we get near it, well... It's going to be some things happening, so uh, I'm going to just let the series of events go on. I'll return when they are uh, done. Yes, Deacon. He uh, died as a hero, Master Drogon. That was really tragic. You could answer anyway. My uh, black guard was being spiteful to him. My guy said, yeah, we got to get her out. We got to go after her. Thanks for everything. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that was tragic. So there are going to be some uh, battles up ahead. They are a lot easier than the Slads and the Ant people. So I'm going to go ahead and take out these foes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I'm going to say this right now. You have the option of freeing these statue foes. However, they will always be hostile to you. I advise saving at least the uh, five charges. You will eventually will uh, need them, maybe uh, more. And other than that, you can just fight them for a uh, weak experience. I just want to show you all uh, that once or uh, twice. And funny thing is they're all attacking the statue. Gotta love Bioware's uh, AI. Now there'll be one more uh, battle like that with the lizard-like uh, people. And if you want to, you could uh, go ahead and destroy the statues. They're all going to be hostile, even the humanoid ones. The ones look like a human. And yeah, if you notice the statues, there is a pattern. I'm not going to spoil that. I'll explain uh, about that when the time is right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you why, again, this is not a good idea. See, I saved this person that's like a humanoid. And yeah, that person paid for it to try to attack us. So there'll be some more uh, lizard men up ahead. Take out the uh, casters first and take out the uh, melee person. So I'm going to return after the battle is done with. Yep, more uh, easy lizard-like people uh, died, so they're all uh, gone. Three of us are going to carry on. Looks like there's a marker on the map. We're going to go ahead and get to that. I think that's where the hooded lady is at. Oh, we're not going to go ahead and uh, stone that, uh, what do call it, Court. That's a big mistake. So what we're going to do is right now I'll tell her that Master Drogon sends his regards, and here we go. The dwarven mage Drogon, as I was expecting. But I see nice. Tell me, do you have a name? Favorite 
shall hear my name and fear me! The Lord is hers, at long last. What follows is the oldest of Netherese rituals, lost to time, but unearthed from the sands by Hyoridus, and now used by her to access the power of the Mithalar in full. You know that it is only a matter of time before Undrantide responds to her urging. The power of the Mithalar forcing the city to rise slowly through the sands of the Anorak, forcing it to take to the skies as it once did so long ago. Hey, what's this? Ooh, pretty statue. Go on, take it. Master Ashtara will be pleased with us. Oh, I don't like the feel of this. <laughs> Fine, I'll take it. Here, help me with this, will you? Are you sure this is the kind of stuff Ashtara wanted? Is there anything the Master doesn't want? Come on! Let's Watch get out, out of here! Not without the statue! Now, if you uh, put two and two together, the lady in the hood was actually a very powerful Medusa. Yeah, the uh, statues, and then all of a sudden, when you meet her, she was overconfident. Boom! You all got turned to stone. Great news is our uh, new uh, pals, those lizard-like people, freed us from our stone curse. However, we're slaves. Good news is uh, that collar won't explode. You can explore anywhere you want in this uh, chapter. So we're officially in chapter two. So here's a recap of uh, today's uh, video. First of all, we went in the ant people lair, killed some ant people, told the queen we're going to kill some more slads when she told them to stop attacking us, used the orb to kill some of the slads, well, all of them. After that, did the uh, portal puzzle, 
Master Drogon sacrifices life, unfortunately. We saw some stone statues, some vile lizard people we uh, took out. And then the uh, Medusa Lay uh, turned us to stone. In our next video, we're going to begin the final chapter in the Neverwinter Nights Shadows of Urnentine Hands Edition. And we're going to kill some Nalums. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching. And have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left. And on the bottom left, if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.